Four months ago, I was just a washed up intern with no return offer and had no idea where I was headed after graduating. But after applying to dozens of companies, going through months of brutal interviews, even getting flown out for an onsite, and facing a career high rejection rate, I finally got a job. In this video, I'm breaking down my entire new grad recruiting journey, the applications, interviews, offers, and the lessons I learned from getting humbled over and over again. Let's get into it. For those of you who are new here, my name's Nick. I'm a computer science student at the University of Waterloo here in Canada. I'm in my final semester right now, and this past summer I interned at a database company called Cockroach Labs in New York City. At the end of my internship back in August, we were told that we'd hear back about full-time return offers in a few weeks. Please give us please a, give return us a return offer, offer. Please, 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 please. So with my return offer being up in the air, this is around the time that I started applying to jobs. Now, after having done six internships throughout college at different types of companies in different cities, I had a pretty good idea of what I was looking for in my first full-time role. And there were two main things that I was looking for. One was I wanted to be back in New York City, which is where I was over the summer. And number two, I wanted to be at a sort of larger tech company, whether that's like a larger startup or like a big tech company. And so with this criteria in mind, I only ended up applying to about 40 roles from early August to mid-October. Now this was really different from when I was internship recruiting in the past where I'd applied to like two to 300 jobs per season just because I guess the stakes aren't as high for like a four month internship. So I guess like company and location aren't as important as long as you're trying something new. And for those of you who are wondering where I found these jobs, there's like a million GitHub repos out there that you can just look up if you just search 2025 new grad GitHub or like 2025 internships github there's a bunch of different github repos with like a big list of internships that you can apply to and they get updated like every day now i was checking these github repos like every single day for 10 weeks when i was applying just because i want to be the first one to apply to these jobs just because like applications fill up so quickly if you're early you have like a better chance of being seen now in terms of applying i mostly just cold applied on the website but for seven of them, I actually got a referral from people that I knew, and that actually led to four interviews. Now, from personal experience, having referrals for internships never really helped, I guess, just because there's so many more people applying for internships. If you think about it, it's like all the people in college versus new grad recruiting, you're just competing with the seniors. And I interviewed at two other companies as well, but these came from the recruiters reaching out to me directly through email uh, without having me to apply. So of the 40 applications, only six of them actually led to interviews and none of them actually came from cold applying. Now looking back, one thing I wish I had done during this job search process was work with a coach because job searching can be so overwhelming from figuring out where to apply, how to get referrals, preparing for interviews, it, it's a lot, I know. But that's where Leland comes in. Leland is a marketplace that connects you with expert coaches who can help you with everything from networking to resume reviews to interview prep, including mock technical and behavioral interviews to make sure you're fully prepared before the real thing. What's great about Leland is the variety of coaches that they have on their platform. Some are recent new grads who just went through recruiting and can give you super practical, up-to-date advice. Others are senior engineers or even VPs of engineering who have been on the hiring side and know exactly what companies are looking for. So whether you need help crafting the perfect resume, getting unstuck on lead code, or acing the system design interview, there's a coach for you. I'm partnering with Leland to give you all a $50 discount code that you can use towards a coaching session to help you stand out in recruiting. So if you're applying to jobs right now, or you just want to try a coaching session, definitely check them out using the link in the description below and use my code for $50 off. No minimum purchase required. All right, back to my new grad interviews. This is a toothbrush, by the way. All right, so that was just applying to these jobs. Now we get to the fun part, which is interviewing. So I was basically interviewing for two months straight from like mid-August to mid-October just because these companies each would have like five to six rounds of interviews, each one being like an hour long. And again, there were six companies. Every week it was just interviews, interviews, and I wasn't really even doing anything else except interviewing. And this is on top of having a full course load in my senior year. So some weeks were actually really stressful. I remember there was one week where I had three rounds at one company. I had an onsite at another company, two CS assignments, a CS midterm. And all I did that week was just code and study, code and study. I was not really sleeping. Now for context, going into these interviews, I was actually really bad at these technical interviews with like the code style questions, despite having done them for the past few years and like actually getting six internships, I was actually really, really bad at leak code. I had maybe done 80 problems in the past, which is not that much. I, I, most of my friends have done like a few hundred. So when it came time to recruit for new grad, I knew that I had to lock in and do like another hundred problems if I wanted to even stand a chance because I couldn't afford to be unemployed anymore. So as you can see, this is my leak code streak. Uh, I did it every day in September and like halfway, half of October. Yeah, I was grinding lead code and I think I got a lot better, but it actually wasn't even enough because even though I passed the first two or three technical rounds, 
I failed the final technical round at Bloomberg, Two Sigma, Meta, and Palantir, which, you know, I signed some NDAs, can't really talk about it in too much detail, but it really hurt when I got those rejection emails. <coughs> this is my first time interviewing for these sort of big, prestigious, if you will, tech companies, and I fumbled. I fumbled the bag. But sometimes things just don't go your way, and that's okay. I, I still learned a lot from interviewing with them, and I'm really grateful for the opportunity either way. Now, to add to this period back in October when I was always interviewing, getting these rejections, and still not having a return offer yet, I was actually really stressed and faced a lot of pressure for, I guess, two reasons. Number one, a lot of my friends were just returning to their summer internships, so they didn't even need to recruit at all. And number two, whenever I'd run into people on campus, whether it was like friends or people like you guys who watch the videos, people would be like, oh, I saw like the New York vlogs in the summer, like you're at Cockroach, like, oh, do you like it? Are you going back? And I'd be like, oh, I'm not sure yet. Still waiting for a return offer. I'd be like, oh, do, are you recruiting? Do you, do you know where you're going? And I'd be like, ah, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really stressful. Anyways, despite taking L's from the final technical rounds of those four companies, I did end up interviewing at these two other companies, which ended up being a lot better. The first one was this big tech company, and it was a six week long process. The recruiter reached out to me in mid-August. We set up a call. I did a first technical round, and then I did a second technical round, and then I made it to the final round, which was two more technicals, and then a behavioral round. And in the end, I ended up getting an offer for $190,000, which I was actually pretty surprised. Like, I thought that was a pretty good, pretty good number for a new grad out of college. And then the other company was this venture capital firm. They have this fellowship program for new grads where for one year after you graduate, you're doing these two six month long rotations at their portfolio companies. And at the end, you join one of these companies full time. Again, this process started off in like mid August. The recruiter reached out to me through email. We set up a call and then I did one technical after that. And then I did another technical interview and then I made it to the onsite, which was actually like like on site, like in person on site. So they flew me out to their office in the Bay Area. And this is the first time I've actually ever been flown out by a company to interview with them in person. All my on sites in the past have just been virtual, like on a call. So on a random Friday in October, I flew out from Toronto to SF and then spent all of Saturday interviewing and then Sunday morning flew back. So it was like a 48 hours, I was there and back. Basically, after I landed, I got to check out the Golden Gate Bridge for the first time. And then they put us in this five-star hotel, which was really, really nice. Yo, I just got to the hotel and they put us in a nice, they put us in a nice hotel, as you can see. Like, what the, why is it orange? But, wow, they, they put us in a nice hotel. And then I had to sleep early because the next morning, Saturday, I woke up at 7.30 a.m. and I got to their office, 8.30. I was dressed in business casual. We got breakfast there. We spent the first few hours talking about their portfolio companies and, and the VC firm itself. And then we had lunch where we got to talk to like some of the founders of these companies. And after that, three hours straight of back to back to back technical interviews. Um, yeah, that was actually kind of rough. And then after a full day of interviewing and talking to these companies, there was a very fancy dinner with all the candidates. There were about like 20 of us that day, people from the portfolio companies, VC people, and then people who were in the fellowship in the past. So it was a big dinner with a lot of people and a lot of talking. I don't, I don't know if I've ever done that much talking in one day before. It is 10 p.m. I just got back to the hotel after interviewing from 8.30 all the way to just now. I'm extremely tired but it was a very good day. Shout out to Redacted for uh, sending us out here. And to make the most of the trip, the next morning I woke up early again so I could check out Stanford campus and then I flew back to Toronto. And a few days later, I get a call from the recruiter and I end up getting an offer as well. And this one's for about 200K, so I was super happy. So at this point I have two offers, one from this VC and one from this big tech company but I still don't have a return offer yet. So then I give Cockroach a heads up and I'm like, hey, uh, I have these two offers that are expiring in the next like week or two. Do you think you could um, uh, let me know soon if I can please uh, come back? And the next day they're like, yeah, you get a return offer. And that's it. I ended up getting a return offer finally. And for context, because I guess some people were confused, but if you watch my last video, it was called like, I didn't get a return offer. It's not that I didn't get a return offer. It's like, it's more like I didn't get a return offer yet, just because like I didn't have one. Like they told us we'd get back to you. And then 
I just had to wait. So now at this point, I have three offers. I have the cockroach return offer, I have the big tech offer, and then the VC fellowship. And I spent a lot of time like weighing my options and and trying to figure out what I value in a full-time job and like what's important to me. Interesting work, like the company, the growth opportunities, location, and obviously compensation as well. Eventually, I ended up signing my first full-time job offer. So I'm excited to announce that I'll be back in New York starting in August. I'm really excited about it. This whole new grad recruiting journey was super long, super stressful, so much work but I'm really glad to be finally done with it and starting in a few months. I'm not gonna reveal the company just yet, but I'll probably talk about it you know, after I start. I just wanna keep it private for now. Anyways, with new grad recruiting finally wrapped up, I can finally enjoy my last semester of college. I've been going on a lot of side quests this term, which I've been vlogging as well. I went curling and I did a color analysis, just doing a lot of random things, like why not? Because it's my last semester. And yeah, thanks for sticking around until the end of the new grad recruiting journey and, and following along with me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.